today we'll be looking at equivalent fractions. But during the last lesson, we looked at how we can convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed numbers. Did you do the last exercise? Here are the answers. 8 over 3 is equal to 2 to thirds. 11 over 2 is equal to 5 and a half. 23 over 5 is equal to 4 3 fifths. 29 over 7 is equal to 4 1 seventh. And 59 over 9 is equal to 6 5 over 9. Well done. I'm very sure you got it all correct. Let's go to what we have for today. Equivalent fractions. When are two or more fractions said to be equivalent? Two or more fractions are equivalent when they have the same value. For example, we have our pizza again. And the first pizza is divided into four parts. The whole pizza is four out of four. And the second pizza is divided into two parts. And everything is two out of two. But assuming I eat two parts out of four here, that leaves me with two quarters. And I give half of the second pizza to a friend. That leaves me with half. And as we can see, two quarters is equal to half. They have the same value. Although the numerator figures are different, and the denominator figures are also different, but they have the same value. So they are equivalent. We can say half is equivalent to two quarters, or two quarters is equivalent to half. For example, two. We're going to use a fraction wall. We can see one hole. And here is another hole. But this time, there are two halves. For the third hole, there are three thirds. And next to it, we have four quarters. So four quarters make a hole. Five fifths make a hole. Six sixths make a hole. Eight eighths make a hole, ten tenths make a hole, and twelve twelfths make a hole. But let's see which of these are equivalent. A half and another half. A quarter, a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter. Take a look at this. This half at the same place with two quarters. That tells us that one half is equivalent to two quarters. Can you see that? Again, ends in the same place with three sixths. So one half is equivalent to three and in the same with four eighths. So a half is equivalent to four eighths. And four eighths is equal to half. Three sixths is equal to half. Two quarters is equal to half. Five tenths make a half. And six twelves make a half. All those fractions are equal. So we can say half is equal to two quarters and is equal to three sixths and is equal to four eighths, equal to five tenths and six twelfths. They are all equivalent. Also, two thirds. is equal to 4 sixths 
and it's equal to, let's see how many twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's equal to eight twelfths. These are all equivalent fractions. So we said that two fractions are equivalent when they have the same value. The worth is the same. Let's take a third example. Write three fractions equivalent to two thirds. The value of a fraction remains the same if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, as long as that number is not zero. The value does not change. So we want to write three fractions that are equivalent to two thirds. How do we do that? Two thirds is equal to two times two over three times two, which is equal to four over six. We saw this from the fraction wall. Another equivalent fraction, 2 over 3 is equal to 2 times 5 over 3 times 5. That gives us 10 over 15. And a third fraction, 2 over 3 is equal to, choose any number of your choice, 2 times 11 over 3 times 11, and that gives us 22 over 33. So in essence, we are saying that 2 over 3 is equal to 4 over 6, and that's equal to 10 over 15, and it's also equal to 22 over 33. These are all equivalent fractions. If you reduce these ones to their lowest terms, you will get 2 over 3. These four fractions are worth 2 thirds. Try this out. Write two fractions equivalent to half, 3 quarters, 1 third, 5 over 6, and 7 over 8. For these sums, the answers can vary because it depends on the number with which you multiply the numerator and the denominator. So try it out and let's know how it goes. I am Ngozi Orevogene. Follow me on Ngozi Orevogene's math blog and log in with the address on the screen. Always remember, math is fun and you can do it.